fill a hole. You get it? I'll fill a hole. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Back again with yet another video. Back again with yet another banger. And we're out here. In the we're out here in these streets, the streets of Bristol, and we're actually experiencing some summer weather for the very first time this year. We've got about three days of sunshine. Well, maybe we've had four, actually, if you include the previous days. So we're definitely making the most of it. It's only taken till mid-May for the sun to shine, but it's all good. It's out, so we're definitely making the most of it. We've actually come to this little key slash wharf area of our city, and there's actually like a, quite a nice-looking pub that sells pub food. I've got a little garden, and I think hopefully it looks out over the water anyway. It's pretty nice around here. And they actually do lobster rolls and they do crab burgers, soft shell crab burgers. So I've been wanting to try a lobster roll for a minute now. So hopefully they got the lobster in stock. And if they have, I will try it for you guys. So anyway, guys, before we go any further, please just take a minute to hit the subscribe button. Help me get these subs up. Please like the video, leave me a comment. Let's engage, guys. Let's try and get this channel up off the ground. This is going to be a bit of a long, slow grind trying to get this channel to take off please go over to our family channel and check out our videos we've got ourselves a nice little sea right by the water here Nice and sunny. I've just noticed something too as well, guys, which I did not know existed in our city. I'm gonna show you, if you don't believe me, I'm just gonna show you for yourself, so you can believe me for yourself. Sighting of Bristol crocodile in this area. Really? I had no idea, guys, that there were crocodiles in our city. No idea at all. I thought they had to, like, survive in a hot climate, but I guess there's a crocodile in Bristol, so you better be careful. You could be around there anywhere. What are you going to go for then, Kimmeled? Fish and chips. Yeah. That's what I thought you'd like, the fish and chips. So we've ordered our food. I went for the, the lobster roll. Um, Sharon's got, just gone for fish and chips. She's keeping it plain and simple. Rai Rai's gone for some skin on fries. Cheers, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've got to keep it 100. Customer service, uh, not great, not great. Not the, the friendliest of, I know it is early, maybe she just got out of bed, I don't know, but not the best customer service. It's 12. Yeah, 12, yeah. Come on, by 12 o'clock you should, be, should up. be up. Like, you should have had at least like three coffees and be- We should be happy. You should be happy, you should be like, welcome the sun's to you. That's true. Maybe that's why she's in a dingy pub, whilst the sun's yeah, shining. Maybe. That's one thing I will say about you guys over in the US, your customer service is on point. For the most part, there's obviously the few places where it's not so great, but for the most part, customer service is actually prioritized. How y'all doing? Come on in, we'll look after you. Thanks for coming. It's worth having the tips because you guys go above and beyond. Definitely. Better service than McDonald's. That's why I go to McDonald's all the time. All right. Because they're like, oh. That's why you go to McDonald's, is it? Well, yeah, you got That's app. your reason, is it? Yeah. Sharon does love her mac and D's. So here we go. The food is out. It's very quick, very, very quick. We've got some fish and chips here with some tartar sauce and rai rice skin on fries. And what's this? Is that mushy peas? I forgot to say normal peas. But we, here's the lobster roll, guys, and it is looking pretty. There's no. There's like. Is there any even lobster in that? I can't see yeah, any. There's a little bit. It's like the Thing. That is kind of teeth, I'm not going to lie though. That tiny little bit of lobster. But anyway, we'll go with these fries, see what these fries are hitting on. The fries are good. That's a pretty good fry. Well seasoned skin on. Pretty good, pretty good. This is what we come for, the lobster roll. So we've got kind of a crusty bun, it's a bit of a crust on it. It's not, it's not very soft. Got some lettuce, some lobster. Roasted. Okay, they toast it. They toast it the outside. I feel like we need to distribute this lobster around it a little bit in the roll. But it is a very stingy portion of lobster. Twenty pounds. This is twenty pounds. What? So it's a cold lobster roll. Oh, yeah. I didn't realise it was going to be cold. I thought it, I know you can get cold or hot lobster rolls, but this is actually a cold one. 
Let's go in again. It doesn't really taste like anything. There's no flavour. <laughs> try this and try the fish. So what is this, cod, yeah? I don't know. There's no season, is there? On the... It doesn't even take out the skin, either. I mean, it's like, texture-wise and the way it's cooked is all right, but there's no, yeah. there's no seasoning, is there? Yeah, there's lobster roll. There's hardly any lobster in it, and it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> there's kind of like these little flakes of something and these tiny little bits of onion, but, yeah. yeah. A little bit disappointed. For 20 pounds, I was expecting a little bit more. It's the lobster meat. So try a bit of lobster meat by itself. It's not bad by itself. It's quite, yeah, it's quite a nice sweet meat. It's not bad. I'll give you guys a rating for that lobster roll. I'll give it a six out of 10. It was okay, it was all right, but just not a lot of flavor, only a tiny bit of lobster. Very, it's a very stingy portion. Like we walked away feeling like, where are we gonna eat now? We're gonna eat next, because it was such a small portion. 20 pounds is not a lot of money, but when you're getting this tiny little portion of food, sorry. I've got to be honest, I know I've given two bad reviews running, but I've got to be completely honest, I'm very disappointed in that. Like the flavor was okay, nothing mind blowing, small portion, I, I yeah, what, what else can I say guys? No, nah, like no seasoning on her fish. The only thing I will say is I tried hers with the tartar sauce and it was actually pretty good. Okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with the quality of the food. The quality of the food was pretty good. Yeah. It was it was okay, but flavour, nothing outstanding. Small portions. What are you going to do, guys? Very disappointed, you know. It was like basically all in, it comes to about £50 for all of us to eat. So it's not a massive amount of money, but for but it's not, nah. We're, I feel a little bit bad that I've just spent £50 on a lunch, which wasn't really, but anyway, it is what it is. I've got to be honest with you guys, I've got to bring you guys the real. One thing I will say though, guys, the burgers that the guys that sat next to us looked pretty good. The burgers did look pretty good by looking at it, and they were like, the guys were, they were saying, oh yes, this is a good burger, guys, like really good, yeah, like really enjoying this. Maybe if you're gonna to go to the ostrich, maybe the thing to try is the burgers. Like, I don't, guys, I don't like knocking businesses. I don't like to take food out of people's mouths, but at the same time, I've got to give you an honest and real review. I've got major anxiety now, Araya being so close to this look. cliff edge. Oh, look at that dog. Okay. Look down there, look. Look at the dog up there. Look at this side. Roo! 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 It must be a bachelor party or something. Yeah. All of those dudes out on a boat together. So the wife here, just having a little nose like you do, just walking into a restaurant just to have a look. I'm going in all of them. No, one no interest in actually eating in there, but no, just have a I'm look in there. See for future reference. Okay, this is different. Check this out. This is like some next thing in here. Well, it's nice, isn't it? It's like a little cocktail bar, isn't it? Okay, we need to come back here. This is, that's nice, isn't it? We need to come back there. Look I mean, at this. That actually looks like a really beautiful restaurant. It does. That's nice, but I like this place. Look at it. It's like being in a cave, but they've like lit it up and it's looking pretty. Pretty inviting. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Got a dog here. Yeah. Hello. Oh, we've got a gym in there. Oh. Wow. There's a gym in there. Uh, Talk. This is nice in there, guys. I did not know this little cave existed in the city. There's some nice businesses, especially like that one. That little restaurant bar on the, like on the left. But, Imagine you, me and you in there, in the little corner, sat there. Just sat there having a little romantic date. Yeah. Like gazing into each other's eyes. 
That does look like a nice restaurant. Yeah. I like that, the that's a tapas that. place, right? Uh, I think it's this one. That's so if you guys ever want to come to Bristol, UK, go and eat in there. If you want a proper, that's a proper British you experience. Know what the food's like, though. Yeah, the, the food might be trash, but yeah, exactly. at the end of the day, it's like, it's like a, a British experience. You get to sit in a, a dungeon and eat your food. You never know, a dragon might come out or something. There's a lot of very well-spoken blokes around here as well. Like, yeah, you know, you know, like, bloody lovely around here. Just going to have a little... What? Am I embarrassing you? No. Yeah, it's bloody lovely around here. You know, ow! Why would you nipple cripple me in public? They heard me. Yeah, they don't know that I was doing their voice. Yes, you just said there's a lot of well-spoken... It's your passing by that. Oh, okay. Well, apparently, they heard me say that. I was just saying they're well-spoken. That is not... An insult is it to say someone's well spoken? Well, That's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, Tommy D strikes again. Tommy D opens his big gob when he shouldn't, but. guys as we didn't quite fill the hole I said fill the hole as we didn't quite fill the hole with this we are gonna get a little snack so we're at a retail park I'm actually gonna get a Krispy Kreme donut but I'm gonna forget Hi have you got to eat um like an iced coffee? Yeah we can eat iced coffee can you uh is it is it like a, a frappuccino? No, we don't do any frappuccinos Yeah, I'll do that with, with caramel syrup, please. Caramel syrup, no problem. Anything else for you? Yeah, can I get a... Um, do you do, you do a coffee and a donut deal, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'll get that with a... Let's do a cookies and cream then, please. Is that everything for you today? That's everything, yeah, thank you. Let's see, we'll see you at the window. Thank you, yes sir, yes sir, no, I'm saying we Sam. Those two beers I had. She was lovely. She was lovely, she, she was, was lovely. Actually... This, is, this is customer service for you, right? Krispy Kreme is American. You come to Krispy Kreme and you get good customer Hi service. Hi there. Hello, mate. So that's the cookies and cream and the caramel latte, yeah? Yes. Please. That's the one. Got the donut on deck. I've got the donut. Hopefully this will fill a hole. Fill a hole. <laughs> fill a hole. You get it? <laughs> fill a hole. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You too. too. Bye. What a lovely smile. What a lovely smile, yeah. What a lovely little voice she had. I know. I was very like comforting, but not with my driving. Not so much with the driving. She had a very, yeah, that's what we like. The, the little little smile. Yeah. The, come to Krispy Kreme if you want the customer service. That's why I say come to Krispy Kreme. Oh, you're touched by that, aren't you? You want to be a friend? Yeah. Little voice. Thank you. I can imagine Have a lovely that, like, day. Oh, with the problem. Oh, is everything okay? Do you want a hug? I can imagine her doing that. She is one of them. She's one of them girls that give you a big hug. She's yeah. probably really small though. I'm, I couldn't see her, but I imagine her to be really tiny with that voice. Yeah, that's what I feel. But she'd do her best to just give you the biggest hug she can with what she's got. She's one of them. <laughs> she's one of them beautiful personalities. So whoever you are working in Krispy Thank Kreme, you. Avon we appreciate you. We appreciate you. You're making our day with a little bit of customer service. Not just take it all in, you know, yeah, this lovely enjoy. this lovely derelict parking lot here. With nothing going on other than a few enjoy rats. Enjoy time together. Let's enjoy this time together. Let's fill that hole. Okay. Let's, let's fill a hole in the car. That's not the, the look and the vibe I'm getting from you. She's capping, guys. She can't. Even, she's concentrating on driving. She can't even see what my face is saying, so. Let's see what sort of customer service we get from KFC. Let's see. Oh, hi. Can I just get one piece of chicken, please? Anything else? No, that's it. And can I have it as a rib? No problem. Thank Anything you. Else? That's it. Thank you. Bye. Sharon loves a rib. Thank you. Sharon loves a good rib. Because I'm your rib. Because you are my rib. Yeah. It's a bit, it should be me that loves a rib. Yeah. For one piece of chicken? Really? Five, five pounds. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh, I was about to take like what since when? <laughs> and they troll, they troll oh in there. That's God. good, that's good. Where's, 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 your, um, where's your money? Still, where's, give me where's your a money? card quickly, man. Just They're quick. waiting. <laughs> Guess I'm paying then, guys. <laughs> I know, I know, Rick. I figured that out. I was like, no, yesterday I paid two ninety nine for chicken and chips. How has it gone that, up that quick? <laughs> In the, good okay. thing, the good thing of KFC, like, you may not get quite the same custom service you get in, in Krispy Kreme. But you get but pranked. You do get pranked. You get pranked <laughs> to the drive through window, so... What? She, she said, that's £5, what? please. She's pranking you. <laughs> that's £5.29. Like, what? For a piece of chicken? Was she, like, so was she actually pranking you, then? Yeah, she's like, no, I'm just joking, yeah. Because <laughs> a piece of chicken and chips is £2.99. I reckon one of her brethren just dared her to say that. Yeah. I'm going to give Krispy Kreme 10 out of 10 for customer service. I'm going to give Krispy Kreme a 10 out of 10 for customer service. KFC, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. Why 9? For the prank. That's quite 9.5 out of 10. I think that's a 10. At least that's a 10. Let's give them a 10. A bit of, yeah. So listen. A bit of fun. A bit of fun. A bit of fun. The, the, the ostrich, you've got some big shoes to fill, right? If you can go to a KFC and a Krispy Kreme drive through and get Thank better you. customer service, then... You need to learn from this video, but right? Can so, I just say that you get better because my service in McDonald's? I know that was a McDonald's, but it's like a drive through Still, it kind of proves the point. Yeah, proves the yeah, point. Yeah, it does kind of prove the point, doesn't it, babe? <laughs> it kind of proves the point. Go, don't, don't leave me hanging. <laughs> <coughs> so is this just after two beers? Like, seriously? Yeah, I had two beers for lunch, so. But as you can see, I'm not driving, so. Not hurting anyone, am I? Let's try this. Iced latte with some caramel. Was it caramel syrup? Yes, caramel syrup. That's a damn good iced latte. It's basically a latte with some ice in and some caramel syrup. 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 Can't get my words out, guys. I'm not that drunk. I promise. I've only had two pints. That's pretty good. Nice rich robust coffee flavor like I like but also you got the sweetness and the smoothness from the milk so I rate that I'll give that let's give that a 9 out of 10 and let's try this this here cookies and cream donut we've got it overloaded with cream and cookies let's see what this is saying y'all let's see what it's saying oh, I don't want to get the jersey messed up Mmm. Mmm. I'm a sweet tooth kind of guy, guys. And this does not disappoint like the ostrich did. Why do you prefer sweet or savory? If I said for the rest of your life, you could have only one thing. Savory. 100% savory. Savory. Savory's like, you can't fill yourself up, like, you can't nourish yourself off sweet food. But something a sweet treat after something savory is always... You know, it goes hand in hand together, I think. But yeah, I'd have to go with savory first and foremost, but this is pretty good. The dough just like basically melts in your mouth, it just melts. You guys probably know what Krispy Kreme donut tastes like, but if you don't, then I recommend this. If you've got a sweet tooth, very, very, very sweet. 9.5 out of 10, the Krispy Kreme. What are you gonna rate the chicken, bruh? So guys, that was our little short sweet vlog for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? The end.